In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to add a new event to your website. Okay, so this is the events page. You can see we've got a calendar with all the different events on there for September. On the right we've got a list of upcoming events and you can see the the next one is the 26th of September. And that's the autumn tabletop sale, so I'm just gonna put in another one just to show you how to do it. So if we go into the back end, you'll see on the left under content there's a section called events, if you click on that, that'll take you through to the different archives that you have. So if you click on the pencil next to the archive that you want to edit, and that'll show you all of the different events within that archive. Okay, so if we scroll back up to the top and click on new event, that'll create a new event. And what we need to do now is put in all of the information off the page, uh, sorry, all the information of the event into this event page. So the title, just put new event for the purposes of the demo. The alias can be left blank because Typo Light will fill that in automatically. You can add a time and you can set start time and uh, date, start date and end date. So we'll just set it up for 23rd of September. And we want to set a time. In the event text, you want to put in all of the information about your event. I'm just going to paste in some information. <coughs> okay, so for the uh, for the teaser, which you might need to expand, I'm just going to copy the first paragraph of the event text. Okay, if that happens, what you need to do is click OK. Hold Ctrl on your keyboard and press C, and then Ctrl and V to paste. Okay, so then if you scroll down, you've got a number of different options. You can add an image by clicking this little checkbox here. And that'll give you the file system, so if you go through your images until you find the one that you want to use. I'm going to use the uh, the other one at the top, so you click the little radio button to select the image and then scroll down. Okay, and that gives you some more image properties here, so you want to give it some alt text. So we'll just call it ABBA for now. If you want to, you can set a height and width, and then in margin you want to put 10 pixels to the right which is the second box and then choose px from the down drop down menu and the only other one you really need to worry about in the image properties is the image alignment so you can set the image to be above the text or you can have the image to the left and the text to wrap to the right and then below or you can have the image to the right and wrap the text to the left and then below I usually go for putting the image on the top left you can also set whether you want the uh, the picture to be selectable to view in full size. You do that by clicking this little box here. <coughs> After that, if you scroll down, click on publish, and then save and close. And that'll be your new event in there. It sorts them by date, so you'll need to find where the date that you set was. Okay, so here's ours here, the new event on the 23rd. So that's in there, so if you go up to the top, and view your, uh, your front end preview. And then refresh. What that'll do, put your new event here, in upcoming events, and then you can see on the calendar that you've got the new event in there. If you click through, you've got all of the information. And your picture 